All truth is not kind to hear. There's a bitter truth as well as a sweet truth. Jesus said in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth. And there's one thing about the truth, it will make you free. And the first thing you need free is your mind. All right, it's kind of hard and difficult there for me, brother Jermaine, to type in because this keyboard up here, um, along with the mic where it said it, it's hard for me to get in on it and actually see your message. So there's going to be a couple other keynotes and um, words in there. It's not the same. Yes, I did get some chocolate. And this is the brand that we've been munching on and eating up here in the tabernacle. As a matter of fact, I got to get Sister Barb. Sister Barb, if you want some chocolate, if you come back here, you can get you a, a, a bar of it. But this is the bar that we have right here, the preferred method. This is straightway approved by Pastor Donald. Hallelujah. And um, it's very good chocolate, too. Wonderful chocolate. Only one problem with it, though. The stuff is very addictive. I mean, this stuff is very addictive. You can get you one whole, one, one whole roll there, okay? And Sister Barb, come to get us some, too. Which I don't blame her. You're welcome. It's a um, hazelnut. Good stuff here. Mm, mm, mm. Brother Ugly said we got to find some Coke chocolate. Hallelujah. Greetings to each and every last one of you. This is Pastor Dow of Straight With You Radio Broadcast by way of Blog Talk Radio. I'm glad to have each and every last one of you on here on this edition of Straight Way Truth. I bless you all in the sweet, precious, and strong, and victorious, and mighty, overcoming name of our soon coming King, Yahshua Hamashik. I hope that your day has been blessed, immensely blessed. Yesterday, what a way to finish such a wonderful word that we had delivered to help, you know, to our minds and our conscience. The Most High Yah, about the power of His Ruah, has immensely blessed us with knowledge and understanding. And in the words of Granny Gaston, the fruit is still coming from the tree here straightway. And it's bearing fruit big time. Hallelujah. And of course, you know, people have seasons. But the fruit is always on the tree. Hallelujah. Here straightway. What a way to finish and top off service by watching Sister Ashley overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of her testimony because she loved not our life to death. You know, Sister Ashley's been very, very busy today because some of the home fellowships have called and told me how blessed they were and how much strength they received when they heard her testimony. As a matter of fact, I just got finished making... Uh, copying a YouTube video from Brother Shane. My camera didn't work good. I mean, when I did download it, uh, it didn't record audio. I don't have the file, so I had to put my camera up to the computer monitor and do it that way. But it's such a moving and such a powerful testimony of overcoming a Jezebel spirit. And I tell you what, they have been text messaging Ashley. They have been emailing Ashley. They have been calling Sister Ashley. And I tell you, she has just got finished strengthening the women of Israel. And what, what, what beautiful start, hallelujah, as we're in the restoration of all things, that that powerful testimony has done to edify the children of Yisrael. Hallelujah. So beautiful and so powerful, it moved both men and women. Down in Houston, wasn't a dry eye in the place. Hallelujah. As she bought strength, hallelujah, to the beautiful daughters of Zion. Now, on the flip side, Jezebel, you mad as hell, ain't you? You're losing control, ain't you? I told you I'm going to get you, Jezebel. I told you I'm going to get you. I'm out I'm going to get you. I'm going to get some eunuchs, three officers. Hallelujah. We're going to throw your butt down off the top loft and let your blood hit the street, and the horse is going to troll all over you, and the dogs are going to eat you. You hear me, Jezebel? And even in the grave, people won't even be able to find your ugly skull. You hear me, Jezebel? They won't be able to discern your hands and feet because of the canker worms and the pommel worms that's going to eat you. You understand? 
Jezebel, you can try all you want to fly up under the radar through smiles and everything else, but Pastor Dow has got your number. Whoa! I'm going to kill Jezebel. I'm going to kill you day. I told you I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Jezebel. This is the university of the painful truth. And welcome. You know, the prophecy had already went forth by Elisha the Tishbite. That Jezebel is going to be fed to the dogs. And you know what? We're in a new generation now. And guess what? Welcome to the modern day Jehu. Right here. Pastor Charles Dow. I'm going to kill your dad, Jezebel. I'm after you. I'm going to get you. Jezebel is all mad. Jezebel is upset. Jezebel is dying. <laughs> Hallelujah. These holy women of Israel are rising up. Loving the law of the Most High Yah. Glory to the King. Glory to the King. Yeah, I tell you, what a beautiful testimony that was with Sister Ashley. I tell you, it gripped my heart. Woo, boy, it gripped my heart and my soul. You could just feel the Ruach speak it all through her as she overcame. Let me tell y'all something. When y'all come to Straightway, Sisters, Daughters of Zion, first thing y'all should do is, is search out Sister Ashley and, and get some information from her. Um, how did she uh, employ the scriptures and broke the band of wickedness? Is this the fast? The word says. Hallelujah. To undo heavy burdens. It's not the type of fast to smite with the fist. I can promise you that. Like so many is doing today. Hallelujah. But you know what? All you Jezebelic slanderers, you tell bearers, you liars, you deceivers, uh, you usurpers, you stage players, your day is coming to an end. You are finished. <laughs> now the daughters of Zion are rising up and they're joining in with the men of Israel. Nevertheless, the Bible says, among men, I found one among a thousand, but a woman I found not. And while we're on this subject, let me clarify something for you. And I want everybody to listen. Brother Steve, maybe you can make a poster. Brother Ugly, you make sure you put this down. Y'all, I want y'all to listen to me real close. Because we have got to correct our vernacular. We have got to correct the way that we speak in the hour that we're living in today. Because words mean so much. And we have to bring forth clarity. So I'm going to try my best. That the words that I speak to you here tonight, that they enter in not only to your hearts and your minds and your ears through the word, but not but mine as well. We have a lot of males on this earth. Did you hear what I said? We have a lot of males on this earth, but we have very few men. Do you understand? Do you understand or shall I say, do you comprehend? You see, a man is someone who takes care of his responsibility. He's not derelict when it comes to duty. He fulfills his obligations. That's what a man does. A man will, will, will fulfill all the needs that are in front of him for those who he are taking care of. That's what a man does. But a man... It don't know what it is. We living in a generation today that a male can look down between his legs and still be confused to what is it. They don't know if they're male or female. They don't know what in the world is going on in their mind. They're confused. They're in a state of utter confusion today. It's just a mess. Do you understand or do you comprehend or do you know the difference that there's a difference between a male and a man? Hallelujah. And Pastor Dow is a man. I, I promise you 100% 
bona fide, certified, heavenly called man of the Most High Yah. And I'm strengthening and I'm raising up men in the kingdom. No males, men. Because men are not confused about their roles. Men are not confused about who they are and what they're supposed to be doing. The die has been cast. That's right. The line has been drawn in the sand. You got that right. And, and, and this is just the way it's going to be. This is a patriarchal. This is a man's world. And this is a man's walk. And the man are the one who are leading Israel. Do you understand or do you comprehend? Are you getting fired up yet, Jezebel? Is your blood pressure up? You about to lose your mind? <laughs> One thing you better do. Now, mind you, you can talk to your castrated male. And you can breathe your threatens and slaughter out to that sissy and punk all you want. But you ain't going to do it up here. Not with this man. This man has got the seed of Israel running all through his veins. You know, I would have made a good soldier in the army of Dawid. You know, y'all understand that? I would have made a good soldier in the army of Dawid. Hallelujah. I still want to tell you, we're going to get you, Jezebel. <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman because her price is far above rubies? Whoa! Tell you what, Sister Ashley is on her way. For you to be able to see what a virtuous woman is. And not only that. Many have done well. But thou daughter of Zion. Has excelled them all. Woo. My, 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 my. And this virtuous woman. The heart of a husband. Do safely trust in her. And as about. And look. And he have no need. Of spoil. You see, if this woman is doing everything she's supposed to, you know, he don't have to worry about going out and, and having other spoils. But since being raised in America, that most, the 99% of the so-called female species are not doing what they're supposed to. Um, so therefore, the Most High Yah says, you know what, man? I'm going to take care of you. I sure will. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to give you houses. I'm going to give you lands. I'm going to give you servants. I'm going to give you wives. I'm going to give you sons. I'm going to give you daughters. We're going to take care of Israel. Then after that, we're going to the kingdom to rule this whole world. And the whole world going to be under our feet, on our dominion. You're going to dress our vines. You're going to give us some wine. Hallelujah. That's what you're going to do. And you, everybody's going to show up to the feast in your new Jerusalem. We are blessed beyond all belief. We're going up to the next level. Next level, Israel. We're going up to the next level. But remember this. Before we go up to the next level, there are always, see right now we are in what's called the dead time of the year. And this is a time when people start dying spiritually. And pretty soon we're going to get the pruning shears out. And we're going to prune the trees back. And because, you know, the Most High Yah, he uh, adds by subtracting, and he multiplies by dividing. And then we got to clean out the drops from around the trees and the bushes. In other words, we got to call out the bad. And that's what the Most High Yah is going to do in order for us to get a bumper crop come tabernacles of next year. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. So we are getting ready, and we thank the Father for it as we continue to go up because I'm watching a holy nation being developed right before my very eyes, before the restitution of all things comes to its fullness by the Most High Yah Himself. You got that right? The nutrition rate is going to be great. Hallelujah. Oh, and by the way, Ahab. We ain't forgot about you either, you faggot, sissy, punk. We're going to get you too. Mm-hmm. You better believe it. You're going to be right behind. You're going to be right behind your male figure, Jezebel. You better believe it. We're going to get you too. Hallelujah. Israel is on the rise. 
spiritual warfare. Woo! Speaking of war, my, 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 where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Man, I'm so excited about Sister Ashley and her overcoming. It's just been beautiful. It's just been wonderful. Man, I tell you what, hey, let's hear it. Let's hear the fire! Let's hear it. We are talking about a sonic boom. Hallelujah. Are we talking about a sonic boom? We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And I'm watching everybody who claim to be of Israel basically just cussing out the Almighty Yahweh. Just cussing him out. You see, it's done got back to me through the grapevine. Hallelujah. That that you know Jezebel's stupid. It's stupid as hell. <laughs> Ahab is too. Just as stupid. And you know, it's amazing when they don't have no fear whatsoever at all. That they would ascribe sin to Yah. Oh, mercy me. The audacity of the people that's going on today is just unbelievable. Well, anyway, um, I got plenty of enemies. Might as well make some more before I get up out of here. That way I, I can have something to pray for. <laughs> Woo, glory to the king. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to give a ministry break. Guest calling number 310-982-4226. Guest calling number 310-982-4226. You want to see Sister Ashley's testimony, go to the YouTube page. It's there. Six minutes, 42 seconds of testifying, of overcoming. What strength you provided to Israel, Sister Ashley? What strength? What strength? Mm. Woo-wee. Glory to the King. Glory to the King. Go ahead and line up. We'll take your phone calls here in just a second. Hallelujah. Right after uh, this ministry break. Yeah, if I can find it. I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. I got to redo this thing so I can make this thing work for me. So I can be a little bit more technically and technically proficient. All right, let me find it here for a second. I was on the road doing pretty good. Hallelujah. Be right back in just a moment. We're glad to have each and every last one of you here tonight listening to us on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, this is Pastor Dow. If you'd like to contact us, our phone number is area code 615-688-3025. That is, again, 615-688-3025. If you'd like to correspond with us or if you'd like to support this particular ministry uh, with your gifts, your offerings, or letter of support, you can send it to Pastor Charles Dowell. That is Pastor Charles Dowell. And the last name is spelled D-O-W-E-L-L. -L. That is Pastor Charles Dowell. You can send your letter to 632 Highway. 52 Bypass West. That's 632 Highway 52 Bypass West. PMB number one. Lafayette, Tennessee. Lafayette is spelled L-A, 
F A Y E T T E Tennessee. And the area code is three seven zero eight three. Again, the mailing address is Pastor Charles Dow, Highway six thirty two, fifty two bypass west, PMB number one. Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. Our website is www.straightwaytruth.com, and that is spelled S T R A I T W A Y T R U T H dot com. That is the Straightway Truth. Dot com or straightwaytruth.com. You can also find us on YouTube. If you would go to YouTube and type in uh, my name, Pastor Dowell, P-A-S-T-O-R-D-O-W-E-L-L. There, you can find many teaching videos. Uh, we preach and teach on just about everything that the Scriptures has to offer. Uh, we also have a Bible deliverance ministry. Uh, we teach people about health. And we also speak to you about how important it is to obey the covenant of the Most High. Uh, we hope to hear from you, you and you. That is our prayer. The kingdom is coming. i tell you what, as a people, we definitely are getting stronger. Man, there is 50-something people over there on the online church board uh, right now, which is you know, considerable lot considered his first day broadcast. Uh, I hope that each and every last one of you really, really, truly enjoyed um, yesterday's service and that some way, somehow, you receive edification, exhortation, and comfort that we might have hope in the scriptures. Remember Romans 15 4. Hallelujah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open up the phone line and take your phone calls here. Uh, glory to the King. And, you know, we've been working on the mind. We've been working on the mind a whole, whole lot. You know, the devil loves keeping those who are subject to him at his will. Uh, that's just the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Let's go to Brother Dave in Connecticut. Calling number 646. This is Pastor Dow. You're on Straight With Truth Radio Broadcast. How can I help you, Brother Dave? Shalom, Pastor. Shalom. Um, yesterday's service was awesome, and the after was amazing. I got the first, I got the opportunity to witness deliverance. Woo! I got to see. That was actually the very first time I actually saw deliverance. Really? And like ever since yesterday, I've been really going through my own life and I've there's a lot of deliverance I need. Well hallelujah. Glory to the King. Oh, yeah. So yeah the, the, the service the message that you gave yesterday, everybody was enjoying over New Jersey. Good. And Good. and afterwards on the deliverance services. So it's so amazing. Yeah deliverance is real brother. Oh yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, man, it's just so amazing. What it is. Games are so crafty. They try to bluff, and they can't stand when you say the name of Jesus. No, they sure can't. They sure can't, brother. I just want to say that. But, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, when, is, when are you going to be doing after this, this coming year? Well, I haven't really had a time to actually sit down and calculate it and get it as close as possible as I can, but um, I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to try. I don't make any promises no more because I'm always so busy doing everything. Right now I'm preoccupied with the cabinets, and we're still a quite a ways out from Passover, but but I, I will get it out in plenty of time, like three months in advance prior to Passover so that people would know exactly when uh, we're going to be celebrating it here partaking in the Feast of the Most High Yah. So that's the feast we're invited to, and we surely want to show up to it. All right. All right, I 
camera and other people get on. It was great talking to you again, and have a good night. Shalom. All right, Shalom, brother Dave. All right, all right. Hey, I need for y'all to, when y'all talk, I need for y'all, every one of you to put your mouth close to the bone, speak loud and clear and precise so that everybody can uh, understand what you're saying. Let's go to New York, New York. Uh, Brother Junior calling number 631-631. This is Pastor Dowell. You on the Straight With You radio broadcast. How can I help you, Pastor, uh, Brother Junior? Hello, Pastor. Born, man. Born, Jacob. Born, Ahab. Born, that one. Boom. <laughs> good service yesterday. Good service yesterday. Thank you, sir. Good service. I like the ending too. I like the ending. I was I was eight fifty eight. How you preach? I like how you preach it. Pastor, I love it. And a testimony. I love the testimony too. Love it. Love it. Beautiful testimony. Beautiful. Wow. Yes, sir. Man, Sister Ashley just good. got finished overcoming some people. serious yes, spiritual demons. Good. Excuse me. Sister Ashley just got finished overcoming some spirits, serious spiritual demons and broke some serious. She broke something in the spirit realm. She sure did. Beautiful. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm proud. I'm happy for her. Happy. I'm happy for her. Yeah, all of Israel is rejoicing and happy for us all. We're glad that you're joining in with that happiness because you're supposed to rejoice with them that rejoice. Yeah, she's my sister, of course. We're family. We eat. We ain't, we ain't one mind. Hope we ain't one mind. Right now, it's, oh, I'm jealous. Oh, she got delivery. Oh, no. Exactly. I'm happy for her. I'm happy. She can hear you. I mean, she's listening to the broadcast right now, so if you want to say something to her, y'all y'all can say something to her. Bless you, Sister Ash. I love you. I love you. Touch my proud you, Sister. Keep going, Sister. Keep going on the devil. Attack the devil. Oh, I've seen the kingdom too. Oh, I've seen the kingdom. I'm being the kingdom, Pastor. I'm being the kingdom. I don't make it. Ain't easy, Pastor. It ain't be easy. Hallelujah. Pastor, uh, oh, come through. And yeah, we're going to get there. Oh, Pastor. You follow me as I follow Christ. We're going to get there, I promise you. I believe you, Pastor. I believe you. I, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I'm going to get there too. I'm going to see you there too, Pastor. I'm going to see you there. But I'm making it. Hallelujah. Either way, I'm going to make it, Pastor. Yeah, and that chocolate, Pastor. I got I'm, I'm, I got the metal shit, Pastor. The card that um, the chocolate you sold um, in the screen. Yeah. Mm, they were good, man. They were good. Yeah. Even like in, like in a week, man. They were good, man. They, I got I got five different kinds of chocolate. I seen chocolate you sold in the screen. I got the card, too. Membership. Went to the actual store in, in the city. Like last week. Good chocolate, Pastor. Good chocolate. You're right. It's, it's addictive. That chocolate is addictive, man. It's addictive. So good to shame. You're right, Pastor. It is. You're right. I got a measure. Yes, I got a measure. I go every month. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, Brother Junior. All right, Pastor. Good to hear your voice, my brother. I'll see you. Bible study. Shalom. Love you. Thank you so much. Shalom. Good night. Good night, my brother. Good night, good night, good night. All right, all right. Let's go to Georgia. It's a brother Michael calling number 404. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Way Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you? Hello, Pastor Shalom. Love you. Shalom. You all the saints. Scatter the God. I love you all. Hey, bless you, brother Michael. Shalom, my brother. Hey, good to hear your voice, Pastor. We were going to start this yesterday. Hallelujah. I'm glad that you're edified and you were fed. And uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I got some more hope in the scripture. Hallelujah. Now, I've been doing some investigation with this uh, Institute for Scripture Research. They're a uh, version of the scriptures, the uh, 1998 translation, and I came across something in First John chapter 5, verse 7, I see that they remove this a complete whole text that I consider really important. For, yeah, for that three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. So what did they do? Yes, sir. They just completely omitted it. I mean, they just pulled it NIV. Wow! I'm gonna go check it out, brother, because you know they they you know whenever the um, 
people have an agenda, you know, we, we you know, you're going to find some error because I can find errors all over this King James, but I understand, but I appreciate you bringing it out. I'm going to go home and check it out as soon as I get home. Okay. And uh, I've been enjoying my uh, on the middle shirt that I got when I came up here to God. Well, hallelujah. It's my favorite shirt. I seen a video earlier today where a uh, man, he actually made an uh, interesting observation of uh, the man with the Messiah and Harold May. He's on the middle shirt that Harold May took. And he made an acronym. And it's, I think, um, I checked it out in the uh, Jeff Beater lexicon, and I think it's really interesting. Uh, I want you to tell me what you think about this. Well, let's hear it. Okay. The characters on the, the shirt are Yod, which is a uh, hand, or this is for uh, Yeshua. Yod is hand, A U. Uh, A to a view. And the teeth in the pictograph right. are sharp and they chew. Yeah. Y is like a tin tape or a hook in the pictograph, which is a, a secure hook. Correct. And I got um, the staff inside of that and the eye. So Yah, Asian, Y, I, I, I is the I. Mm -hmm. Write it out and told you. Tell me what you think about this. Another dimension of death in the name of our master, Yeshua. So it's the hand that destroys the establishment of the I. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I, all I, the only thing I can actually do is listen because, I mean, I, I'm familiar with Probably about 80% of what you said, so all I can do is listen. But it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's all I have for you, Pastor. All right, my brother. Shalom. Shalom, Pastor It sure is good hearing from Brother Michael down there in Georgia. Hey, let's go to New Jersey, the brother Ron. Call number 856 is Pastor Dow. You're on Street Street Tooth Radio Broadcast. How can I help you, Brother Ron? Shalom, shalom, Pastor. Shalom, shalom, my brother. Shalom, 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 Because um, 
You remember Paul said in Romans 7, the things that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. And the things I want to do, I don't do. So, you know, you have to remember what the Apostle Saul was trying to convey to us, that there's a time that the flesh is actually overpowering the spirit because of the mind, where the mind is at in its walk. Um, am I making any sense, Brother Ron? Yes, sir, Pastor. But following... I, I, I worded it wrong. Okay, go when ahead. I, 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 when I mean uh, what you do, I mean the positive things you do. The, 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 uh, the Correct. The righteous things that you do. Correct. That, you, is your true, that is your true intent. Even though the devil may be speaking to you in the process, because he's always there, you know, when you look to do good, the devil is always present. But when you take the initiative and you move out and you do good, that's your true intent. Correct. 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 You are on, you're spot on. Okay. So that's what the Father looks at, is what you, what you do, what you step out and what you do. And whatever comes across in the mind is just merely the devil trying to cast down what you have just done. Correct. He's, he's seeking okay. to sway and pervert you from the righteous way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, that's all that's all I had. I just wanted to get that loose end tied up. Uh, shalom, shalom, and bless you, Pastor. Continue to feed us with the uh, with the unadulterated word, the pure word. And continue uh and you following Christ, and we'll follow you as you follow Christ, Pastor. Well, hallelujah. Bless you, Brother Ron. Bless shalom. You. Bless you, bless you. Congratulations, Sister Ashley. Shalom, shalom. Glory to the King. See how everybody's edifying Ashley for overcoming, man? Shoot, that's a powerful thing. Let's go to Brother Ami, 347 in New York. This is Pastor Dow. We will share with you the radio broadcast. How can I help you? Shalom. Shalom, Brother Ami. Shalom, Pastor. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israel. I'm glad to hear Sister Ashley uh, overcame and uh, she finished building, she just got finished building a house with titanium. Yes, sir. And, uh, but I'm happy. And uh, that's just just the beginning. That's the, the beginning. That's another, there's another war going on. So the devil's going to try to attack you. So you got to keep that same, that positive energy going. Hallelujah. And keep making the house strong. Father, uh, Pastor Dow. Yes, sir. I like the, uh, the teaching you've been doing is good because you've been mixing in the Torah. You've been mixing in Torah teaching with the battlefield mind teaching? Yes, sir. So that's good. That it's helped me a lot because I'm getting the Torah. I'm getting learning new things about the Torah and getting it in me. Learning, you know, things about our heritage. And you've been using the Torah lately a lot in your, in your messages with the uh, and I recommend I think you should keep doing that because it's good it's good to you know keep restoring mixing Torah with deliverance hallelujah well hallelujah, hallelujah. well you know our people brother we need a very good understanding of the Torah and we have not been taught uh, the Torah much because we mostly have just been spending you know, early on in our walk, a lot of time in the renewed covenant, and so therefore we are in ep um, of the law, statutes, and commandments, and we need to, uh, you know, so that's why I push going back to the old paths and landmarks and, and understanding the way that our ancient people not only spoke, but their heritage, their customs, uh, what they did. We need to understand everything we can uh, about them and get back to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that's all I got, Pastor. And shalom to you and all the saints. Stat in the house, Straightway, everywhere. And uh, keep on, keep on building the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, my brother. Shalom. All right, let's go to California. Call on number 562 to Brother Scott. Five six two is Pastor Dow, you know, straight with you. How can I help you, brother Scott? John Pastor, bless you, thanks. I have a general question, Pastor, for the uh, brothers uh, to be here in the Southern California Fellowship, and I think it'll probably help out a, a lot of the sisters and families out there. All right. But during the Mother's 
during the mother's time of separation, yes. who should be allowed to come around the, the mother and the baby? Well, she's in her time of separation. She's mostly in her dwelling place and stuff, but usually um, the people can come by and see the mother and the baby as long as she is inside her dwelling place. I haven't seen anything as um, far as in the Torah about, you know, um, her actually staying away uh, from everybody or nobody. At least I haven't really, at least I can't recall, but I know that the separation is there for a reason. I know a lot of people get, um, uh, you know, certain ways and stuff, but here, what we do here on the land is whenever the mother has a baby, you know, people go by and visit, but it ain't no revolving door, if you understand what I mean. Yes, sir. Uh, Sometimes it, it, it's probably, okay, I, it. I probably see the baby once in um, three to four weeks, brother, before, you know, the baby comes out the house, if you understand what I mean. Yes, sir. That's all I have, Pastor. Thanks very much. All right. Bless you, brother Scott. Shalom. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. All right, glory to the king. Of course, that's something else I need to get familiar with, too, because we know that the males has a time of separation and the females have a time of separation. And, uh, and of course, now the, 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 the sisters, they usually keep up on it because they're the ones who have babies. Or either sisters are assisting and the other sisters are to have babies. Let's go, all right, now we went to New York, then we went to California, and now we're going to go clear across back to the East Coast again. Uh, and we're going to go out here to Sister Zagza. Zaza there in North Carolina calling number 910-910. This is Pastor Dow. We're going to straight with you radio broadcast. How can I help you? Hey, Pastor Dow. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, my sister. I was just calling to let you know that I'm praying for you. Yes, ma'am. Sister Ashley, that was just the nail in the coffin. <laughs> you know, if I had any ounce of Jezebel in me left, she's dead. She is dead. She is dead. She is dead. And I'm trying to get a few things to get off the line. But you started with the illustration regarding the lions <laughs> um, being domesticated. <laughs> And everything you said, Pastor, it's like God, y'all was just confirming everything to me today. I'm just sitting there watching um, public television, and out of the clear blue sky, they just started talking about a diet, and they used gorillas. And they were saying that the gorillas that they had over in the zoo were dying, but the Gorillas, like in Africa and other places, they had no signs of diseases or anything. And they couldn't understand why these gorillas were dying. They had heart disease. They had diabetes. Then they put it down to they had been taken out of their habitat, and they were given the diet over here yeah. of grain, and it was causing them to get sick. You know, they were in a false environment. And then when you were talking about Esther, you know, all through the years in Christian churches, we were just all taught just everything about Esther. Esther, Esther, if I perish, let me perish. But as I began to read, and the most high revealed it to me just through what you were saying, that the only way that Esther was able to get to the king, she had to submit twice. To Correct. the men that was over there, to the eunuch, and to Mordecai. If it had not been for Mordecai, they all would have been dead. And just yesterday, Pastor, you are our Mordecai to us. And I just, you know, I just thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Because that's like Sister Ashley through her testimony and through the word that I was sent. And I was delivered, and I just praise God for everybody in straightway. Shalom, Pastor. Ah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And he sent forth his word, and he healed them. I told you. I'm telling you. That testimony broke some yokes yesterday. I mean, it broke some yokes. Glory to the king. Now, let's go to Hawaii. All the way clear across the country, over in the pond, the great big old pond, 
uh, through the pond in that little island over there. Uh, we're going to talk with Sister Carolyn in Hawaii, call number 808. This is Pastor Dow, here on Sherry 2 Radio Broadcast. How can I help you? Hello, Pastor. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. How are you doing, Sister Carol? I'm doing fine. I just want to call and say shalom to you and Sister Carol, and especially to Sister, what is her name? Ashley. Ashley, yep. Blessing to you, Sister Ashley. It was a very touching thing in my heart. And oh. keep on, Pastor and Sister Carol, and the rest of the family. Have a good night. Hello. Hey, Sister Carol, can I ask you something? Yes, sir. Do they have any recordings over there in Hawaii, um, over them little cokey frogs? You know, like um, them making noises at night? I'm, well, I don't think we have any, but uh, what I think one of the brothers did miss the recording. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Maybe Brother Snow does. He has a recording of the cookie. Okay. Man, I sure do like those things. Yeah, try not to smell. I think he made a recording of that. I know I made a little recording of my one little thing, but you're right. All right, Sister Carol. Shalom. Bless you. Shalom. Bless you. Glory to the King. All right, let's go to uh, where we at. Canada. Brother Dave, man, we're all over the planet today, ain't we? Let's go to Canada. Brother Dave there, calling number 343. This is Pastor Dowling on the Straight with you Radio Broadcast. How can I help you there, Brother Dave? Hey, Shalom, Pastor. Good to see you. Shalom, my brother. Looking forward to seeing you here pretty soon. Yeah, me too. Say, Pastor, I hope to have some frogs in your part of the kingdom. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, the things, I, I enjoy those things. Um, yeah, Pastor, I want to thank you very much for the teaching that you've been doing lately, and especially every time that you speak on the men. I right. hear every word, and I thank you very much for that. Well, glory to the King. Oh, glory to the King. Yes, sir. Well, you're welcome. Glad you got ears to hear. Ask you a question. Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to ask a question about the tears. Uh-oh. In the week. Yes, sir. Um, I know that they're supposed to be with us right up until the very end. Correct. And um, But I'm wondering what their purpose is. Are they meant to um, kind of shake what can be shaken? Yes. And they are there to tear. <laughs> they're there to look like wheat, but they're not wheat. Um, they're there, but they have no spirit to rule out really truly to lead them. But the bottom line is, remember, an enemy sold it. Because you have to understand, first thing, which is natural. Remember when all of our people were delivered out of the land of Mizraim and they went off into the wilderness of sin. You notice that even though they all left out Israelites, there was an evil seed put into a lot of them with many of them Yah was not well pleased. And he ended up doing a new thing and opened up the earth and swallowed up Korah, Dathan, and Abiram and everything that appertained to them, all those folks coming against Moses. Um, so, you know, you're going to have the tares among the wheat and stuff because in, just like you have five wise and five foolish in the kingdom, uh, they're there to test, prove, try the patience of the saints to make sure that we endure to the end so that we can go on in. But they are going to be gathered into bundles to be burned. Okay, okay. So they have a job too, just like you had Judas amongst the Messiah, Jesus Christ, and the disciples. So we're always going to have evil around us. We just need, and believe me, we can discern and know who's who. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. I just wanted to know that. Exactly that. All right, my brother. Shalom. All right, shalom. All right, all right. Now from Canada, let's go to Florida. Call man, we would have some frequent flyer miles tonight, wouldn't we? Uh, all the places we've been. To, Brother Dion, Sister Laura, call number 407. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Sherry True Radio Broadcast. How can I help you? Shalom, 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 Pastor. Shalom, all the Israel out there. Shalom. Shalom, Brother Dion. How you doing? Uh, everything's beautiful over this way, Pastor. I'm, I'm just calling in like everybody else. That spirit just moved me, and it sounds like all the rest of Israel on that service. It was just amazing service. Uh... We just had so much spirits running around my house when we got done with that service. We didn't even know what to do with ourselves, sir. <laughs> it was 
something else. Fire. That's all I can say. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, so I want to let you know, um, you know, you, I'm sure to a lot of brothers out here, like myself and other brothers, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of brothers that grew up without fathers, like myself, and there's probably plenty of us through Israel. But, you know, you just, you, through the Bible, you install so much, so much strength in us. Like, you know, when we get done listening to you, your studies, the services, you know, we just stand tall and, you know, we're ready to hit the word and hit the world. And I just want to thank you so much for that. The most high is using you, that vehicle, just, just to strengthen us and keep our back straight, Pastor, because you really put it on us good. So I want, to, I want to thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. And also pray my strength in the most high, Yah, that he will continue to give me utterance. All right, my brother? Yes, sir, I sure will, sir. Definitely, Pastor. And I have over here in my family's house, we have a couple of Tampa sisters over here. Uh, Sister Ashley from Tampa wanted to say hello to you. All right. All right, Shalom, Pastor. I'm going to put on the phone over here, all right? All right, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Sister Ashley. This is Sister Haley. Well, Shalom, Sister Haley. How are you? How are you doing, Pastor? Well, I'm very, very blessed. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How can I help you? Um. Well, I wanted to ask you, will I be able to come to Passover next year? Yeah, come on up. All righty. Yay. Hallelujah. Yeah, you're invited. Come That's on up. Blessing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've been fellowshipping with um, Sister Carolina, you know, Chapel Sisters and stuff. That's where, you know, I started fellowship with them and then come up to Orlando and fellowship with them on the Shabbat and walking you. It's been a blessing. It really has been a blessing. I've been um, doing this for about um, a few months now and it's just been a blessing. A lot of stuff I had to learn but I'm willing to do it. Well, hallelujah. Sister Carolina is a very good sister. Very good sister. Good sister that you can learn from. And we're glad that you're with us. Uh, thank you. And she is. She's really been a blessing in my life. She's like a mother to me in this walk. And it's just truly a blessing. Hallelujah, my sister. Well, that was all I'm, you know, I just wanted to talk to you and ask you, was I able to come up faster? And I thank you for the opportunity to let me be able to come. Well, you're welcome. We're looking forward to seeing you. Y'all speed. Yes, sir. Shalom. Shalom. Bless you. Bless you. Is there anybody else, Brother Dion? <laughs> Shalom. All right, there's nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, all right, all right. Where are we at? Let's go to Missouri. Call number 314-314. This is Pastor Dow. Is there you on the with Truth? How can I help you? Hello, Pastor Dow. It's Brother Snow. Hey, Brother Snow. Bless you, Pastor. You know, I just, I just called because it's so exciting to hear all the different testimonies. Uh, your, uh, your different sermons have been helping people so much, you know. Uh, I remember uh, Brother Eric Roberts' testimony like it was yesterday, and now, you know, Sister Ashley had her testimony this past Shabbat. It's really encouraging. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Israel is being restored, brother, and a lot of yokes are being broken. You are right, brother. It is very encouraging watching people overcome the Satan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, um, oh, yeah, I, I, had a, I had a prayer, and I wanted to pray that... Um, that you can see to give us examples, you know, throughout the scripture and throughout the word of uh, what it means for us as Israel, uh, what it means to be a holy people. Hallelujah. You know, that's that's all we can do is to be edified, you know, give us different examples and, you know, different, different, uh, I guess, principles and teachings from the Torah to help us become a holy people because that was really encouraging too. Like you use different examples such as, uh, the example of David, you know, what he did when his enemies was against him. Right. Uh, he used it, the example of Abraham, you know, put put away the nail from the tent. Different examples like that, it, it definitely helps me and gives me, you know, a, a figure to look at inside the Word so I can work towards, 
what they were uh what they were as a holy people hallelujah yes sir yes sir and uh, other than that uh, oh yeah last uh shabbat night it really helped me with the clarification on uh receiving gifts uh-huh like when you receive gifts you don't have to receive it after the spirit of you know christ mass or christmas or whatever correct you just take it out of the, the benevolence of their heart and being nice to you because the gift is not necessarily a sacrifice to an idol correct so okay because i was actually convicted last year to actually throw my gifts away even though i didn't participate in the you know syrup and a ritual whatever they do there uh, i set myself apart from that but they gave me gifts and i was convicted to throw them away so they helped me a lot well hallelujah glory to the king we're glad that it did brother brought about an edification Yes, sir. That's all I can ask for. Um, Hallelujah. Another thing. I want to ask you a question. Uh, have you heard of Restaurant Depot before? Restaurant who? Restaurant Depot. Uh, hmm. there should, there's one in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Never heard of it. What is it? Yeah, uh, this, this this past week, it's basically this, uh, this grocery store that restaurants go to, but there's different ways you can get a membership. Like if you have a... a a business tax ID number. Yeah. Like a tax ID number for when you own a business. You can use that to actually gain uh, purchasing power and access to the store. But what I did was I joined the Kansas City Barbecue Society. And you don't necessarily have to live there to join them. You can just join them to uh, gain access to the store. And I went there and I bought a 50 pound bag of rice for less than 20 bucks. That's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I got two 50-pound bags and one 100-pound bags, and I got a whole bunch of other stuff, and, you know, it, it didn't cost me a whole lot at all. I, I just wanted to tell you about it so you can possibly look at it, look into it. Uh, the different barbecue societies you can join, you can join the, uh, the St. Louis Barbecue Society or the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Those are the two that I know of that you can uh, have a, a dual and a joint membership with Restaurant Depot, Restaurant Depot with. Right. Um, yeah. If you want to look into it, uh, you can look into that. All right. Well, I appreciate the information there, bro. Hey, uh, is that is that rice, uh, uh, what they call certified uh, organic non-GMO, or is it just regular old rice? Oh, it's the, uh, the regular and rich, the regular white and rich rice. All right, got you. Yes, sir. All right, my brother. Good to hear from you. All right, bless you, Pastor Shalom. Bless you, Shalom, bro, Snow. All right, all right, all right. Where we at right now? Let's go to, uh, man, my eyes twitching. Oh, must be tired. All right, let's go to California. Uh, caller number 310, or did we go there? Well, anyway, California 310 is Pastor Dow. You are on the Straightway Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Who's this, bro, Chris? No, this is Brother Davy. I'm going to call him a few times before. Oh, boy, I know you're coming in very muffled. We we can barely make out what you're saying. Are you there? Can you hear me a little better now? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, this is Brother Davy from California. I've called him a few times before only. I don't know what's happened, brother, but it's, it's very difficult. It went back to being very difficult to understand what you're saying. Uh, I told you the uh, phone that I'm on, if you can hear that. But go ahead. Uh, my, my question is about, uh, I guess, uh, STDs and whatnot. Like, I, I know someone with herpes, and uh, is there any way for them to get rid of it? To get rid of what? Uh, an STD person? Oh, well, yeah, sure it is. Um, you know, there are all types of things we can do, but we usually don't discuss over the air. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, there, there's a spiritual uh, aspect to it, but then there's also a natural aspect where you can actually uh, strengthen the immune system. What I would do if I was you, I would call here uh, and ask for, uh, try to ask for Sister Vicky. Go ahead first. Call at the dining hall and ask for Sister Vicky tomorrow and and uh, see what kind of direction she gives you. 
All right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Shalom. All right, all right. California brother Chris, call number 951 941. This is Pastor Dow, you know, Straight with you, radio broadcast. How, how, uh, how can I help you there, brother Chris? Hello, Pastor Dow. This is actually Sister Tanisha. Hey, Sister Tanisha, how are you, Sister? I'm fine. I'm getting along. <laughs> I was just calling basically to uh, make a shout out to Sister Ashley and tell her bless her from the women of uh, Southern California because we were all blessed by her testimony and she had everyone here in tears and, and going over the scripture she read and stuff. So we were all blessed richly and had, you know, a discussion amongst the saints afterwards a little later. So she touched everybody here and I just wanted her to know that and we want to say bless her and thank her a lot. Well, hallelujah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Shalom. Okay, yes, yeah, Shalom. Yeah, okay. Hallelujah. All right, let's go to Virginia. Uh, Brother Freeman, call number 540. It's Pastor Dow, you know, say we true. How can I help you there, Brother brother Freeman? Hello, Pastor. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Let me ask you a question. How's your white corpuscles count doing? Her, her what count, sir? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Your white corpuscles, meaning your white blood cells. Oh. Oh, she's a, yeah, she's a, she's a white corpuscles. Doing pretty good. Actually, sir, she hasn't had any more problems with her uh, blood pressure. Okay. All right. What you got? Uh, well, Sir, I just called in to just say uh, that was a good service uh, uh, yesterday, good teaching. Uh, and I was calling in to say that, uh, you know, I had spoken to her in a while. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, shalom to you. And and uh, what uh, my son said, he wants to say shalom. Go ahead, say shalom. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. And, uh, I just wanted to tell you Shalom, Pastor, and that was a good teaching yesterday. I'm going to uh, look over it again like you like you told us to. I'm going to look at it tomorrow. Uh, it's snowing down here in Virginia, so we won't be doing anything tomorrow, but I'll, I'll find something. I'm going to watch that tomorrow. And I want to also say that uh, what Sister Ashley said yesterday, it's, it, I mean, even though it was for the women, it still touched the men because uh, uh, I felt the Holy Spirit like just flowing when I heard it. It was very touching. So I want to give a shout out to Sister Ashley. And also, uh, Pastor, I just, you know, want to give a shout out to all of Israel and to, uh, the Shalom to you. Hallelujah. Y'all be encouraged up there, brother, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, my brother. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Um, hey, uh, brother Ugly, hey, send that one hour Koki recording to my, um, uh, email account, brother, because I'm up here at the tabernacle, so I ain't gonna be able to get it right, right here. I have to get it, you know, down to bottom. Hey, I thank each and every last one of you who are faithful supporters of the Straight With Truth Radio broadcast, and I know that some of you are new out there and you try to go through the daunting task of looking through the website or trying to figure out what way that you can actually send in letters of support, um, uh, your gifts and your offerings and your tithes to support the ministry to help. Uh, me continuing to get get the word out because it is a concerted effort. Um, you know, I'm I'm the face of the ministry and stuff, but it's by your letters of support and your gift that enables me to go out and to do the things I need to do necessary in order to strengthen our people as we wake up in this dysphoria. So if you'd like to send your correspondence or letter of support, you can send it to Highway 632, uh, 52 Bypass West. Uh, that's to Pastor Charles Dow. And you need to put my name on it, Pastor Charles Dow, Highway 632, 52 Bypass West, PMB number one. That's PMB number one, Lafayette, Tennessee. And Lafayette is spelled L A F A Y E T T E, Tennessee. L A F A Y E T T E, Tennessee 37083. 37083. Uh, also, um, if you'd like to try to leave a message, and um, provided myself and the elders can get to it, uh, the phone number at Down Dine Hall is 615-688-3025. That's 615-688-3025. Hallelujah. And I do greatly 
and immensely appreciate uh, all of you who believe that the labor is worthy of his hire and you have faithfully supported me not only now but over the years. Also, if you go to the website, the website is linked to a, a thing called WePay. WePay gets a little small fee. Um, if you are paying by credit card or debit card, it makes it uh, pretty easy on you rather than going to the post office. But we prefer that if you can um, to start mailing in um, at the address uh, provided. And then once we get to know you, we give you even a home address and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, in, in a, a personal money order, um, you know, something like a, a MoneyGram or Western Union or a postal money order. Uh, we work just fine and stuff. You know, I know that the world is trying to get to a cashless society and stuff, and we want to try to do everything we can to not allow Uncle Sam to take more out of our pockets than what is necessary. We're already taxed without representation heavily in the first place. And so we want to eliminate uh, the pain uh, that we're feeling through a high, high taxation without any representation in this country. That's why we ask if you can uh, send a postal money order, MoneyGram, or... Um, uh, uh, Western Union, whatever money order you can get a hold of. But hallelujah, glory to the King. Well, I tell you what, uh, Saints of the Most High, y'all have actually enjoyed it tonight. First days are starting to rival uh, six day night. We start on Sabbath or the Shabbat, seven day night. Glory to the King. Hey, I enjoyed this tonight, and I hope y'all encourage. Uh, we do, uh, uh, you know, because whenever one overcomes in Israel, it sends out a wave. And Ashley just got finished helping murdering and killing Jezebel. I'm telling you. There were a lot of yokes broke. And so Ashley you should be encouraged because Israel is for you. Don't worry about your haters. Don't worry about your enemies. Don't worry about those who can't rejoice with you. Pay attention to those who bring edification, exhortation, and comfort. And may your heart continue to be comforted and strengthened as we go on in this war until the new Jerusalem come in. I bless each and every last one of you in the sweet, precious, and strong. And victorious and mighty overcoming name of our soon coming King, Yahshua Hamashiach, the Messiah, himself, the Mashiach, Jesus the Christ, in the English vernacular. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the night and a couple of days before we see you again in Scripture study. Shalom, shalom, shalom. The King is coming. Look at him looking.